Hi guys, welcome back. So in this lesson, we're going to be messing around with a bass line and getting that 80s bass sound. So let's get to it. So the first thing what I'd probably do is just come up with a sound that I like. Sometimes I just use the stock saw wave if I've got a bass line already in my head. And other times I'll come up with the preset first or start with a preset and then tweak it later. If I haven't quite got the bass line in my head yet and I need to mess around with it. So I think on this one, I just started with the instrument. So what I did is actually I used a preset in Serum but I'm gonna remake this in Vital, so don't worry about that if you haven't got Serum. I just wanted to show you how this all started. So I scrolled through loads of presets until I found one that sounded like from the 80s. And I found one called The Realist, and I'm just gonna play this on my MIDI keyboard. That definitely sounds very 80s, and all it is is just saw waves with the filter cut off making that wah sound. So the envelope is controlling the filter. And that's what we're gonna recreate in Vital. This should be fairly easy to do. But also, now I had the right sound, or something that I thought could work anyway, you never know whether you've got the right sound until you start putting it in the mix and mixing it with the vocals and all the rest of it. But I knew I had something that was a potential correct sound for this genre. It's the next thing to do is to come up obviously with the bass line. So again, I'm just humming it in my head. I'm just messing around on the keyboard. I'm just trying to come up with something whilst the song is playing. So it would be probably beginning with C because our first chord is C. So, and also if you're not familiar with what notes are in the scale, which is me, I'm not great at music theory either, then you can either Google that, notes in C minor, and just go to images, and you can either write these down, any one of these images shows you what notes are you can use, so basically you can use any of these notes, write them down or whatever, put stickers on your keys, whatever, or you can just come into Cubase and use the tools in there. So let's just draw in a blank MIDI segment, and I'll show you how to do that. The scale assistant, change it to C natural minor, and you wanna snap any live input if you're not sure what keys to press. Snap pitch editing and show scale note guides. Now you may not be able to see this terribly well because it's quite dark. Depends how bright or dark your screen is, but when you toggle this on and off, it's telling you which notes you can use by having darker segments and lighter segments. And this live input's good because even if I press the wrong notes on my MIDI keyboard, it's gonna snap to the nearest correct pitch. So I'm gonna do something like this. Basically, uh, that's how I do it. Sorry for the bad singing, but um, I'm just gonna quickly program that in now and I'll come back to you in a sec. So this is what I've got so far. It's only half it so far. And we're just gonna copy and paste this over and change it around a little bit. And you know, to make this a little bit funky or a bit more interesting, we can turn off the snap and start shortening and lengthening notes, possibly giving them different velocities, but really on a bass line, I think keeping them all, you know, strong notes is a good idea, as in not fluctuating notes. So the bass line is consistent all the way through. See that one's slightly shorter. That one needs to be a bit longer, I'd say. Maybe this fir the first note, a bit longer. So these first notes can be a little bit longer. So this is a bit boring because they're all the same. 
Okay, we're in a good place there. That's that's using Serum. We'll just make sure this is on grid and put this back to where it was. So four bar loop. We need to turn this down, obviously. So that's my 80s sounding bass. We now need to remake this in Vital. We will also introduce a sub bass layer as well. So we've got full control. So we'll have the main bass on this channel and a sub bass channel as well, but we'll do that later on in another lesson. Let's just take off the top end. So high cut, again, for the same reason I said before about 80s music. That's also gonna help our other instruments when they all come in. There's gonna be many, many more elements and instruments coming in, and we don't want the bass to be too bright, otherwise it's gonna start messing with the other elements in our mix. So two reasons why to take off the top end there. I also added a bit of reverb. I wouldn't normally add reverb to a bass line, but on the 80s style genre, it is quite common to add at least a little bit. So let's go. Obviously that's way, way, way too much. Let's bring this right down. Bring the low level right down as well. And pre-delay right down. And bring up the high level of the reverb. Let's just do a quick before and after. Just check what we're doing. with that's just giving it a bit of thickness a bit of space and just sounds better so before and after again and i wanted to show you you can use roomworks if you want to you don't have to use valhalla although they are better for this type of genre A little bit boomy there, so I'm just going to take that out a little bit at 115. Okay, so let's stop messing around with EQ and everything and actually go and remake this sound. So, Vital, it's going to be fairly easy. So, when I first remade this, I obviously duplicated the track and just copied the settings on the Serum plugin. So for example, copied the saw wave, copied the filter cutoff, and copied the envelope, how that affects the filter. So to save time, we're just gonna open up the preset. So just type in wah to find it, or of course open external preset if it's in your work files. So 80s wah bass, I'll quickly talk you through this. So saw wave, very, very basic saw wave, five voices and just a tiny bit of detune with the phase altering all the time. So you get a slightly different sound each time. And the envelope, I basically copied the envelope from the Serum file, the attack, decay, sustain and release. Uh, not only doing the amplitude over time, but also sending this to the filter cutoff. So this filter opens and closes with this envelope as well and you end up with this sound. And the effects, I added a bit of EQ just to get the same kind of effect as what we're getting in Serum and added a tiny bit of reverb here as well for extra thickness. So just a change in the decay, it just sounded a little bit short to me, the notes are just a bit too short. By the way, the MIDI for this and all the MIDI, so not just the bass, all the MIDI we're going to be using will also be in your work files. So if you want to drag that in, instead of programming this in, you can do that. So we'll quickly change our bass to purple, put it up there. And in the next session, we'll start adding more 80s sounding synths. We're going to be adding a rhythmic guitar part and a whole host of other stuff. So. Hope you're enjoying this so far and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.